be considered as an active member, a voting member of the Puritan Church. Um, I did reclaim my intentions and my intent to, to become a member of the voting church, and um, I was called to, to as a redo uh, regarding a tie that took place. So um, again, I'll, I'll re, you know, um, reiterate my faith um, in terms of what I believe in, and um, I'm going to start with basically saying.
You don't have a right yet. He's not allowed. He has He's two. two. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wait, he has a lot of money. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we not persuading him? This isn't a debate. And I don't care about money. I care about, like, you don't care about the spreading the church, the new places. Yeah, the Greek, 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 the Okay, listen to what he says, okay? Hudsonians, point by point. Uh, since 
1629, I was elected governor before we even left uh, our country and was even re-elected on the, on the boat. Exactly, October 22nd, 1629 is when I was elected governor. Um, and I uh, led a group of colonists, in the new, I led a group of colonists in the New World uh, and founded a number of communities on the shores of the Massachusetts Bay and the Charles River. On, uh, we hit land April 8th, 1630, with four ships led by the ISIL, uh, ISIL of White. sermon that, that I gave. It's called uh, A Model of Christian uh, Charity. It was given right when I was elected. Uh, it has an idea of what what I see our community, and I saw it as a city upon a hill. If you guys remember my sermon from, uh, from 1930, or from 1630. I'm going to give you, just in case you don't remember, I'm going to give you a general overview. Um, I, talk, I, I give you guys a reminder of our covenant with God. And, and I urge our, my fellow travelers to honor their duties and obligations. Our sole, uh, our sole purpose here is uh, to follow, follow our faith in God while being a community of, uh, of bound, bound, friendly uh, Puritans. Let us choose a life that we we can see, uh, we can live, uh, bang by by the voice of God, and. Um, 
in, in the last case where we dealt with Ann Hutchinson, we, if you don't recall, we gave her, if she would have just came out and told us what she was doing, we gave her the opportunity to have a less punishment. But when she went against it and then finally at the end told us that uh, she believes that God speaks through her and that she is almost like a better person than our pastor is, that's what made her banished. The only reason why she was banished was because she didn't believe in what our community was about through religion. And she was against it. In the last day of, the, of her trial, she admitted it. Before, we gave her the opportunity and she just didn't take advantage of it. Ask that one of your yes, sir. ask again to be heard. So yeah, you sir, ask again to say, hear your arguments, he, and he will go uh, and read his paper. The new members that just got in, the immigrants, yes, sir. Like, would they have like an equal say, just as like just the as everyone else? Members, part of like priorities. Yes, you part of voting you in is the major part of our church, which makes you part of part of our uh, our court. The other people say and whatever. Everyone has an equal vote besides John Cotton, yes, too. So you would in favor of someone that's previously there? No. The no. Everyone has, that's part of what we're opening up our community and opening up our church to you. We, we allow you to have an open say. If you want to come up and talk about something, go for it. But in this, as long as you follow what our church believes in, then you have, we have no problem listening to what you have to say. Yes, sir. Uh, you stated that uh, you believe that uh, God is merciful and uh, forgives all sins. Uh, based on that, what, what is your position on uh, salvation? Do we are we pre uh, predestined for salvation, or uh, can we work our way to it? You mean questions out of time? Questions out of time. We're not predestined for for South Park. We are. We all everyone's destined to I believe everyone's destined to go to heaven unless you do something that sins or something that goes against uh, what God believes in. Uh, that would allow you to not make your way up to that heaven. And just to, uh, you know, branch off of my government beliefs, you know, you know, this, you know this stuff here, but uh, there's a few elected people before, you know, there's a few elite people who, who know that they're going to heaven. And, uh, and Hutchinson was claiming that she was, you know, that God talked to her about that, and she was one of them, but she's not. And that's why she's wrong. <coughs> Were you there? I wasn't there, but it's just the fact that you know God doesn't talk to people like her. She's, she's so she said that it was just like a select elite, right? Yeah, but she's not elite. She's she a loser. <laughs> is she a loser or is she a woman? Is that right? Because that's probably. Mary didn't tell her that he was going to. She's a. No, she was wrong in the fact that she spread the idea. If she was really an elite person, she wouldn't have uh, told everybody about that because the problem with <clears throat> the problem with some of the elites is when you tell everybody, you know, God talked to me, it makes everyone else feel inferior because they say, oh, God didn't talk to me, so maybe that means I'm going to hell. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to hell. It just means that you do not know for certain that you're going to heaven because, like I said, there's a predetermined set of people who God talks to and tells them that they're going to heaven, and then there's those people who don't know they have to sit and die. So you can't say whether or not God's talking to you because it just makes everyone else feel beneath you. 
So that's why we managed there, because we didn't want people to feel there. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. So I think what he's trying to say is like that she was a threat to the, the authority, like the Puritan society. I I don't believe that. Like he might, but because because then that God, he wasn't there when God supposedly talked to her. But well, would you see that as a threat to the to the authority? I see. In, can I come out of character? And what she was doing? He voted him in. Right? Yeah. So that's why she was like. basic Puritan belief that some people are, are simply meant for salvation and some aren't, regardless of uh, what they do for their lifetime, regardless if they're a good person or not. Uh, so I'm saying, okay, well, no, the Puritans believe that uh, by good faith and combination of faith and works that you can be saved. That's not what it says here. With a combination of uh, good faith and good works, then yes, you, you can be saved and you will uh, go to heaven. You move forward. Um, for, for, for uh, some it says here, uh, to be Christ's here. sacrifice does not apply to everyone, but what, what is here? What is that? only to those whom God elects to salvation. He's the teacher. What's that? Good lord. What well, are you doing? I did my research. What do you want to do? <laughs> uh, uh, I think your source might be a little fuzzy there. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, my source is the teacher. It, so. He's the teacher. <clears throat> you? Yeah. She gave us this. Technically, he's the teacher. He's John Cotton. He's the uh, reference point. All uh, right, time out, time out, time out. Um, like the Puritans, the members of the church, they, they needed to, like, like an application or something, right? Or, they need to what? Saying that they had experience with God, right? Oh. So that, that's why Anne Hutchinson, like she claimed like false experience with God or something. Oh, that's right. And that's what immigrants have to prove, that they had been saved, okay, because of some of their experiences, okay? Only through 
God can be achieved through achieve true salvation. Not just good works alone. I've done many good things for the people out of my love, but it's not for your satisfaction or is it for my salvation. The Holy Spirit alone the scripture compels me to do such deeds. And despite the presence of our extraordinary reverence, I would continue to do such deeds if they weren't here. For me to assert that it is merely my good works and the help of a few humans to attain salvation in the means of my God's power appears to me as blasphemous, blasphemous thought and teaching. Once again, I say to the Lord, the woman truly is not the one that speaks the lies. My faith, better yet, my salvation is not an inanimate object that can appear and disappear synonymous to my good deeds. Rather, God's gift of salvation is free and open to everyone. It's not limited to just the Massachusetts Bay Colony, but it extends to our former oppressors, strangers in this native land, and even those that we don't know beyond the waters we can't see. My main concern before the court is not that no one makes their vote according to the decisions that they're trying to appease, the certain parties that they're trying to make back. Just make your vote with the intentions to benefit the pure and commonwealth and what's best to preserve our new families and this new land. I don't want to lead anyone in the wrong direction, especially straight, but I do feel there are many lies that go hand in hand with the truth. Be wary of them. Know that only the Holy Spirit can see the truth of what it is. Prophesizing of the destruction of the colony, wrong about her demeanor toward the ministers, and most remarkably agreed to the sanctification, to agree that sanctification could evidence justification. You know, that little wary on her judgment, but I she, doubt that was the case. She wasn't in a jail so very long, and she said this. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, on regards yeah, to her being sick. Take her, she was in a jail cell, she was on house arrest. Trail. At the trial. She was in her own house, it's house arrest. That's well, it's either way, it's being like a prisoner in your own house. So, so, so in, in, in your opinion, if you can murder someone, and if you meant to murder <laughs> someone, you're good? Is that what you're saying? She murdered him. It's not, it's the same thing. In this community, it's considered the same thing. For banishment? I'm sorry, just It doesn't matter, it's a law. If she breaks a law and you admit to it, you don't think she'll be punished? Here's the problem. If it's murder, she actually did break the law. But in this case, I don't believe she broke the law. I believe the law is the thing that's broken in the first place, which is why us as a peer are so involved. So, so you're against what we believe in as a community? So you're against what we believe in then? She made that statement based on, you know what I mean, just standing there and saying, oh, I took enough because, you know what I mean, I gotta, I gotta either stand up and say I did it, because if I didn't do it, then I'm gonna be falling into saying, oh, everything I believe in is wrong. So she stood for what she was believing because it's against your beliefs and, and what the church believes, the pure church. Therefore, we banished her. Yeah, you banished her ba crime. based on your communal beliefs, right? Not any new beliefs or any, any future the beliefs of our community. And are always changing, right? Not necessarily. Not at this given point in time. Talk, we're, we're, we're here, but we're changing. I can't vote, but I can talk. Yeah, you can talk. Really big change. But, what? Someone else want to ask a question? Wait. Would you summarize your points, you know, one, two, three? My main point is, number one, Ms. Hutchinson's uh, conviction should be overturned for a number of reasons. So this whole point about salvation, Which, which, what she was accused of, the slamming of the ministers and the uh, uh, 